Hi, this is Lisa Crosby, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the Assistant Studio in Dynamics 365 to create a custom Insight card that will allow the user to launch a playbook. So here I am in Dynamics 365 Sales and I come in and I can see on my dashboard that I've got this reminder here telling me that I have a high value opportunity at risk. Now we've set up the card and I'll take you through in a moment how we did that so that we're determining that a high value opportunity is anything worth over $100,000 and that at risk means that the opportunity score trend is in decline. So I'm actually picking up on something else that comes with the Sales Insights feature there. So I'll, I'll dig in and show you that in a moment. But you'll notice here that the action you can take is to launch a playbook. So just in case you're not familiar with playbooks, let me give you a really quick rundown on what that feature is. You'll find it in the app settings part down here of Dynamics 365 Sales. And what you do is set up a template or a series of templates for things. And the idea here is that it will prompt the user, prompt the seller to do things, to do, take certain actions based on certain timeframes from when the playbook was triggered. So in this case, we're saying when we have of an opportunity that's determined to be high value and we determine that it's at risk, we want to prompt the seller to do these actions. We want to say the first thing you need to do is make a phone call, call the decision maker. And the second thing is to complete a task, which is to update the internal stakeholders. So obviously you could have more activities in there, just keeping this example nice and simple. And this all has to be done within five days of the playbook being triggered. So what we're doing here is saying we're using Sales Insights and using this assistant card to prompt the user to do that and to trigger the playbook. Now you can also trigger playbooks automatically based on things, but we're using the Insights cards here so that there is that um, interaction with the seller to make the decision decision to be alerted to that and to physically press a button to go ahead with it. So let's have a look now at firstly, let's have a look at the opportunity. So the opportunity here we can see you'll also see that the uh, card is sitting on that opportunity and the ability to launch the playbook. So whether you come across it in the dashboard or on the opportunity, you can still do the same thing. And we have got an estimated revenue of $150,000, which is over our $100,000 uh, value that we've decided is high value. And you'll see here, this is where I'm picking up on that trend. It's declining. So this is coming from the predictive opportunity scoring feature, which is another AI feature of Sales Insights. And we can actually then use that to trigger Insights cards as well. So I'm showing a couple of different things here. So let's have a look at how we created that card and what's going on to make that happen. So I'm here in the Sales Insights settings and inside the Assistant Studio. And this is where we can create a new card. And this uses Power Automate inside the Sales Insights setting window to get going with creating the card. So we say we want to create a card from blank. And then we choose our trigger. And in this case, I'm deciding that the trigger is that the opportunity could be updated as soon as I want to look for anything where the score trend or the estimated value is being updated. So I'm going to choose the common data service trigger, which is the same one we use for Dynamics 365 sales and say when a record is updated. And I'm going to go through here and just choose the environment that I'm working in and choose the entity, which in this case is opportunities. I'll just type it in there so that it comes up a bit more quickly. And the scope is across the whole organization for this one. But I don't want to monitor every single change here. I just want to monitor um, the opportunity score trend. So that's the one that's showing declining. So that's um, that's a, an attribute that's added when I'm using Sales Insights. And uh, I'm also interested in when the estimated value is changed, because remember, we're looking for high value opportunities. So if either of those things changes, uh, then I want to um, have a look to see whether we need to trigger an Insight card. All right, so now I'm going to add a new step and we're going to put a condition in here so that we can see which opportunities um, need to trigger the card. So there are a couple of conditions here. The first one is uh, firstly, I want to get the status. So the status value, I actually only want open opportunities. So that is a status value of zero. I'm going to add another row here and now I'm going to look for 
the opportunity score trend. So we're saying that the opportunity score trend is equal to two. So that's the value for declining. I've done a little bit of work behind the scenes to get these values beforehand. You can look them up in the documentation for whatever particular scenario you want to be working with. Um, and then also that the estimated revenue is greater than or equal to $100,000. OK, now, obviously, you can configure this to, to meet whatever criteria work for your organization. And that's the beauty of these custom cards is you make them do whatever you want. So now let's get into the action of creating the card. So we only want the card to be created here if all of those things are true. So I am going to go in here and I'm going to choose my action and pick up the sales insights card. If we just type in sales insights there, it's fairly easy to find it. And at the time of recording, I've got the um, version two preview. Now, as we go through the card, I'll just take you through the things that you need to fill in here. Lots of little red asterisks. So of course you need to choose the environment. Where is the card going to go? We can give the card a name. So this is the header that will high, that will pop up at the very top of the card. So you remember that says high value opportunity at risk. So we're just going to pop that in there. You can't actually put any um, dynamic content in there. You just need to keep that one as text. And then the card header here, we're actually going to use the topic of the opportunity. So we bring that name of the opportunity straight into the card. Next, I'm going to put some text on the card and I'm going to bring in a combination here of some um, standard text and a dynamic things. So I'm saying this opportunity is worth and I'm pulling in the estimated revenue field from the opportunity. And then the button text, I can put whatever I like here. So let me just show you first, I'm going to choose the button type is launch playbook. And I've actually chosen to say launch playbook as the button text, but you'll see there you could actually set that up to be whatever you wanted. If you wanted a, a custom text there, that's fine. I'm going to choose what happens to my card after I click it. So in this case, I want to dismiss it. I need to choose which entity this is going to be displayed on. So we're working with opportunities here. And which particular record is it going to be on? So with this flow, I've already created and I've uh, found an opportunity earlier on. So I'm going to enter the unique ID or it will pick up from earlier in the flow, the unique ID of the particular opportunity that was updated. Now you can, if you want, choose how long it's shown from until that's entirely optional, but I'll just skip over that so we can get to some of these fields at the bottom here, which are also uh, mandatory. So obviously I have to have already set up my playbook. So you'll remember I had that playbook template, which I showed you before, which is the high value opportunity at risk template. And again, I need to say, what is the template of what is the playbook template relating to which entity is that relating to? And again, which is that going to do? So what that what that means is when the playbook is launched, which opportunity do we want to launch it against? So again, I'm picking up that same ID. So by picking up that opportunity ID throughout, what this is going to do is check when that opportunity is updated. If it meets the criteria, it will launch this action card and it will apply the card to that particular opportunity and then if I do choose to press the button and go ahead and launch that playbook, then that's uh, that's all done. So you will go ahead and save that. I'm actually not going to do that because it's a duplicate of one that I've already got in there. So let me just show you how that works. If we come back here, I'm going to click launch playbook and I want you to watch sort of down the bottom here because it will pop up with something. Here we go playbook launched successfully. So I can go straight in and view that record and we can see the playbook has been launched. So there is our higher value opportunity at risk. It is regarding the new equipment opportunity and we have got the call decision maker and update internal stakeholder tasks there. And you can see uh, that this is this is actually the date that I'm recording and when it's due. So I've set this up that it has to be due. Actually, that's two days ahead of now. And then that this one has to be done three days ahead of that. So that's picking up those tasks and the relative due dates based on how the playbook was done. If I go back into that opportunity and we'll just give that a little refresh. We can also see from within here um, related playbooks and see that information there that that one's come through and again, click through into that. And that's it.
I've got a series of other videos here as well on different kinds of cards that you can trigger. I hope that one's been useful for you. Thanks for watching.